it's Benny Johnson here, back for another iOS development tutorial and in this episode we're going to continue our iBank application and we're actually going to design our user interface. So first off, we're going to start off with our loan view controller that we set up in the last tutorial. I showed you how to make a tabbed bar controller segment for the storyboards and create the classes for those separate view controllers and you should have linked them up just as as I have done. Um, so yeah, if you haven't done that, go back to the previous tutorial and review that video and then come back to this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our interfaces now. So let's start with our first view controller, our loan. So I've just basically deci designed these. You can do it differently, uh, but I'm just going to show you how I did it. So first off, we're going to drag a label across here. And I'm going to line it up with those guidelines you see there. And I'm going to enter loan amount. So this will just basically mark the text box in which the user will enter the amount in. I'm going to drag a text field over so the user can input the amount they want to get information on. So I'm going to drag it across here and I'm going to drag it over to the end and snap it to those lines. Then I'm going to drag over a round rec button. I'm going to put it in the center there, maybe make it a little bit bigger. About there. And put submit on it. Alright. Next, I'm going to make another three labels. So I'm going to drag that one over here, snap it to the line. This is going to be the pay period, the time which the user has to pay that amount by. I'm going to drag another label over here, and it's going to be the interest rate. These are just, remember these are just names for our labels, they're not actually going to display the data, they're just going to label uh, what is actually displaying. And finally, we're going to have total payment. Alright, so once you've done those labels, we can actually separate them a little bit. That should do. And what you want to do is actually drag across the labels for that name. So drag across three labels, like I'm doing here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of the text inside here and you want to expand this right across to the end. So do the same with this one, expand it right across to the end. Actually I might put the text back so I'm just going to put PP for pay period. Uh, IR, IR for interest rate and finally TP for total payment and make sure you expand all of them to the end. Alright, so it looks like that and when the, the data is going to ex display to the user, it's going to have the name then the data. I don't really like that. So what I'm going to do is go over to the attributes inspector and I'm going to change the alignment to the right hand side and as you can see it will bring that text over to the right hand side and bring it over to the right. So that looks quite decent and once we get it actually working let's see a sample of this so we might have 12 months uh, the interest rate might be uh, 8% and the total payment might be 1100 right there we go and that's what basically it's going to look like we're going to have a loan amount it's going to the user's going to click submit then it's going to add that data to these labels here. So that's our loan and before I forget I'm going to change the name of this item to loan and we'll deal with that image there uh, later in this series and we're going to do the same basically the same for our investment view controller so I'm going to drag over a label and name that investment I'm going to drag over a text field for that amount to hold the user's amount and snap it across period 
and I'm going to put bracket months so the user knows that that value is actual months not years or uh, days or whatever they might think and I'm going to drag over a text field there we go and I'm going to drag over a button because remember in the PowerPoint I said two values the user is going to submit the amount they want to invest and the period of time they want to invest and therefore we can actually get the interest rate and get the total and how much money they'll earn and those sorts of things so then we're gonna put two labels down here this is going to be the interest and this is going to be the total return which is the amount they invested plus the interest they got and I'm going to do the same I did with the loan I'm going to drag over a label there and drag over another label and I'm going to expand these right to the end and expand these right to the end oh, there we go and I'll just change the alignment to alignment and let's say for example you might say a hundred dollars they've earned in interest and the total return is two thousand one hundred pretty cool alright so that's basically it for the interface again let's make sure we change the item label which is going to be investment alright so that's basically what the interface is going to look like I uh, hope you enjoyed that tutorial that was pretty quick and I'll see you in the next one where we actually create connections to all our user interface so then we can start implementing code and making things happen in our application so I hope you enjoyed that remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys later